it's Miss Kelly. I've got my glasses on because I'm going to read a story. This is our reading area. It's our class library, and I'm going to show you. We've got all these great books about hippos, and I'm going to read you a book about hippos. It's called Big Little Hippo. Little Hippo was the youngest in his family. He was the smallest, too. His sister was bigger, his brothers were bigger, and his mother was bigger, and his father was bigger. There he is right there. His neighbor, Big O Crocodile, was much bigger than Little Hippo. A very tall giraffe who would come to the river to drink was much, much bigger. And of course, Giant Elephant was much, much, much bigger. Everyone is bigger than me, grumbled Little Hippo to himself. Mommy, why am I so little? asked Little Hippo. Don't worry, said his mother. You will grow up to be big, just like your daddy and me. But I don't want to wait, said Little Hippo. I want to be big right now. Little Hippo felt like the smallest creature in the world as he walked between the giant trees. And the tall thickets of grass. Just then, Little Hippo saw a baby beetle lying helplessly on his back. Poor little baby, let me help you, said Little Hippo, and he rolled the tiny beetle over onto his feet. There he's on his back, and he helped him. Thank you, Big Hippo, said the beetle's family. You were very kind to help our baby. Wow, said Little Hippo, they called me big. And all of a sudden, he felt very big. I'm big now, cried Little Hippo, running past the giant elephant. I'm big now, cried Little Hippo, running past the tall giraffe. I'm big now, cried Little Hippo, running past that big old crocodile. Mommy, I'm big now, he cried, and he told her all about the baby beetle that he had helped. How wonderful, said his mother. You are growing up. You're a big little hippo now. And he smiled that happy hippo smile. His new name made him feel the just right size. The end. That was our story. It's called Big Little Hippo. Bye, hippos.